Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to discuss another improvisational concept uh, that deals with tritones and why it's important for people to be able to improvise thinking about tritones. So what is a tritone first of all? It's a distance from one note, any note, let's say C, and it's a distance of six half steps either above or below any note. So a tritone above from C is right here, and a tritone below C is right here. Now, because we've mostly been de dealing with scales in order to aid improvisation, um, let's talk about what that would mean in the context of like a 2-5-1. So let's say our 2-5-1 is in A flat major, let's just pick a key. And so that would be B flat minor 7, going into E flat 7, going into A flat major 7. So scale wise, normally we would know that as this. flat 7 against B flat minor 7 to E flat 7. But we can make use of the scale that's a tritone away from that dominant, from, away from that E flat dominant 7, and also outline it. So that would look something like this. the dominant 7th scale a tritone away. We can even do this. We can play the dominant 7th scale a tritone away against the full minor 2 chord to the dominant 7 because remember a minor 2 chord is really just outlining a dominant 7. So I could play B flat minor 7 to E flat dominant 7 but play A flat um, dominant 7 the whole way, and that would sound like this. Now why is that valid still? It sounds out to our ear, but why is that valid? And the reason is this. Uh, one of the earliest videos, again, I talked about the family of four dominants that come from the same diminished, and E flat 7 comes from the exact same fully diminished 7th chord as A dominant 7, and I'll prove to you why. Here's E flat 7, that comes from this fully diminished 7th chord, right, because if I lower one note, there's my E flat 7, but if I take the B flat and I lower it a half step, there's my A dominant 7th chord. So because, um, those two dominants come from the same fully diminished 7. They're brother and sister, and that's why uh, th they're meant to play with each other. So again, a tritone. The main reason why it works is because they come from the same fully diminished 7th chord. Some people think of it as, well, if you look at the tritone, you know, the 3rd and the 7th are just switched compared to the dominant. So the third factor on A dominant 7 is the 7th on E flat dominant 7. And the 7th factor on A7 is the same as the third factor on E flat 7. That's also valid, but we're just trying to, or I'm trying to explain this to you in a way that's, you know, the most thoroughly that I know I can do it. So how do we put that into context? Let's say um, I want to play a tritone line to superimpose over a dominant. One of the most effective ways to do this is to utilize extra note rules for the tritone away. And in one of Barry Harris's master class, he talks about an example that Charlie Parker played over uh, back home in Indiana, which is a tune that goes like this. <laughs> examples of tritones, um, they're really just quintessential examples of them. So if we take the tune, and then at this spot right here, this is the 
two five that's E flat minor seven into E flat seven. But what Bird plays is he does this.